honestly, I don't remember which one this is, but uh, you do need a couple key items in order to get this one. Oh, we picked up a coupon nut along the way. I do believe that it is Doga's artifact and Une's mirror that do react with well, the phonograph here. I don't know what else to call it. The record player, I guess you could say. Uh, if you do remember, Doga and Une were from Final Fantasy III. Not the American Final Fantasy III, which is six, but the Japanese Final Fantasy III that wasn't released here in America until it was the DS. That Final Fantasy III. Do I have another one? I think the language of music is universal, don't you agree? Now, can I get another one? And they are playing the theme. I believe it is, is it Doga and Une's theme? It's one of their themes or both of their themes. I knew this before. Can I not talk to you? There we go. Why do the people of Gaia pay special attention to communication through sound? We just give each other looks all day and we know exactly what the other means. I guess the people of Gaia decide when to rest based on the presence of light. There's always light and terror. The same method wouldn't apply there. Yes, our ways are indeed weird. But there's a little Easter egg. Are we keeping the same music? Huh. Can we get another one? Maybe we just get the one. I thought there were two things that you could get out of that. I might be mistaken. I've been trying to get that for a while, though. That's an Easter egg that I did not know about. Uh, for a long time. I don't think I've actually ever done it myself before. How you doing? Little Boko. It's obviously an imperfect life form, but I feel a strange affinity to it. Kind of like I want to protect it. Everyone is back. We have new friends. Bobby Corwin is here. So many great things happened all at once. Yes, it did. How you doing, Magrio? And nobody, nobody has any mail. All right, we'll head into the hatching room where we can find a couple more people. Will we have more chocobos when Bobby Corwin lays eggs? I see, so you enclose a captured life form and conduct research here. Yes, that is exactly what we did. It's actually kind of weird to think about it that way. But technically, Genome's right. That's kind of what we did. All right, we'll head over to the left then. Head into the final shop. I believe this one has been upgraded as well. Welcome to the Black Cat Synthesis Shop. What do you have for us today? You have the Massamune. It's going to require a Zorlin shape and an Orichalcon. It does cost quite a bit. Uh, we got lots of stuff that I'm going to want to get here. Lots and lots of stuff. Honestly, so much stuff that I'm not really willing to make any of it right now. That Like, it's that good and that expensive. Ugh. Why do you do this to me, game? I don't need another ro light rope. There's something that I don't need. Yeah, there's, there's some good stuff here. Some good stuff. And I will work on it. I will work on it. Especially that Masamune. Sword from a foreign land. Indeed it is. Or have, have, I've heard it recently. Masamune? That's kind of a weird way to say it, but uh, that's what I've heard. Can I talk to you up here? I can just hop up. Can't talk to that guy or to the genome over there. Yeah, the synth shop here is where I'm going to be spending a lot of time and probably a lot of money. Uh, but if we're being honest, I don't necessarily need it, especially for Ronaldo, who is full on abilities. Literally every ability that he can get, he has already learned. So I don't I don't need any more work with Ronaldo. It'd be great if I could switch him out with Barty, but they don't really let me do that. I realized one thing after listening to her stories. Why do you think the genomes and we have so many things in common? I don't know. Why? We were manufactured in Alexandria. But that technology wasn't developed by Alexandria. Kuja knew how genomes were made. He manufactured us based on that knowledge. If Kuja is also a genome, I wonder how he felt when he manufactured us. I'd rather not think about what Kuja feels. Might scare me. 
This is where you bury the dead? What's the point of this? It isn't like the dead would re would appreciate it. <laughs> You're right. I don't think we build cemeteries for the dead. Sure, it may seem pointless to you, but... How can I describe it? So that we can think like this. We'll never forget you. We'll remember you every time we stand at your grave. And we won't let the fear of death, which each of us knows, stop us from living our lives. Because my friends will remember me when I'm here. I'll never forget my friend, Mr. 36. Can I, can I talk to you, Mr. 56? I ran away once because I was afraid of dying, but I came back because this village is my favorite place. I'm sure it is. So as you can see, uh, upgrades. Lots and lots of upgrades. Uh, I can't actually afford all of them for the time being. You know, I might need to bust out a few cotton robe tricks in some spare time that I might have. Uh, but for the time being, I think we are done in the Black Mage Village. So I am going to try to run all the way back to the Invincible, which is definitely the uh, airship that we have. And I want to head to uh, the... Well, I want to head to Daguerreo. I'll meet you there. Outside of Daguerreo, before we head in, I do want to give you the official stats on the uh, gramophone at the inn as the wiki calls it back in the black mage village in order to get that done you do need both the doga artifact and une's mirror and then the background music will change to doga and une's theme from final fantasy 3. so that is the official names of everything as best as I can give them to you. Uh, so let's head into uh, Daguerreo. There are a couple things that I want to do while I am here. Uh, one of them is heading back to the weapons store, which has been updated. Only a couple places have been updated, but this is one of them. And once again, I'll probably just not purchase anything. I can't just rely on name brands from now on, you know. I've got, I've got to start using my head more. Me too. All right, so here we can purchase that Orichalcon uh, that I do need for synthesizing. Uh, we can also get the Defender. I already have one of those, but we can also get the Ultima Sword, which, as you can see, is not the ultimate sword because it doesn't, well, raise. Arnold's attack as much as you would think, but I do want to purchase it nonetheless. Holy Lance, we have one. Avenger, Kaiser Knuckles, I already have a couple of those. Uh, Mithril Racket, I've got plenty. Um, how many forks do I need, really? Uh, but then in terms of uh, defense, he's got some good stuff as well, like this Power Wrist. He's got, I'm going to want a couple of those. Uh, Aegis Gloves, I do want a set of those. Is that it? I think there's more. There we go, Kaiser Helm. I'm probably gonna want at least one of those. Uh, but really, I'm gonna hold off on it for the time being because like I said, I'm, I'm kind of broke here. I know it doesn't necessarily look like it, but uh, I am, I am. Uh, we will definitely work on finishing everybody's abilities and stuff like that. I believe it is you that I wanna talk to here. You appear to be quite the traveler, I can tell. If you happen to find an item called the Magical Fingertip, can you please bring it to me? Consider it a dying man's last wish. I will give you something in return. Damn right you will. So, uh, that's something that I want to get actually immediately. The Magical Fingertip. Uh, now, you can only get that if you've already got Une's Mirror, Doga's Artifact, rat tail and the griffin's heart so you're gonna need a lot of money and the magical fingertip is gonna be no exception that's the reason that i'm kind of hoarding money for the time being i'm expecting to spend it all on the magical fingertip or at least close to all of it like it is not cheap i don't believe you have anything new no you do not your stuff is the same. Although, no, you can you can make these. These are new. I don't think you could make those before. Uh, but everything else I have already got. Yeah, definitely already got all of that stuff. So, 
we're free to leave again. Um, we're going to head back to Trino. There are a couple things that I can do there as well. That's pretty much it for Daguerreo for the time being. Well, um, until I get that magical fingertip, that is. I'll just meet you back in Trino. Back in Trino, I almost forgot to actually get the last item. Uh, in order to get the last item, we need to head back into the Invincible, uh, which we actually have not done uh, since we, well, kind of took it over at the end of Disc 3. We can talk to people here. How strange. What is it, Lexi? I'm riding on the airship that killed both of my mothers and destroyed my birthplace. When you put it like that, you, you want to get off? I'm sorry. We don't want to ride this airship. Don't worry about it. Fuji and Garland were the ones who chose to destroy it, not the ship. And I want to stop blaming my sorrow on other things. Lexi. Nobody would mind if you punched the ship. Just, just say. There must be mist monsters everywhere. We need to be careful. Indeed they are everywhere. Can I not talk to Arnold? Uh, I gotta go around. I thought of relinquishing my knighthood many times after Alexandria was destroyed. But there are still things I must protect. Seeing this guy convinced me. Good. Yeah, don't give up now. I, I actually got some good equipment for you. What we actually came here for is over here, which is the Pisces Stellatio. And that should be the 12th and hopefully final Stellatio coin. You can see I've got four to turn in right now. Pisces said to Aquarius, Virgo made her choice. Go see him and he'll tell you the rest. What? I'm so lost in this story. I have never been able to put that story together. 